Hey, welcome back everybody. So I've got another cheap tool to show you. This thing showed up the other day in the mail and I completely forgot about it. I think I actually had ordered 11 tools under $10, but the, for the video I made 10 tools under $10. So anyways, this tool showed up and let me show it to you. So what we have is a 90 degree woodworking clamp. To be honest with you, it feels pretty cheap. I'm hoping we can salvage it. The idea behind the clamp is it can assist you in putting those 45 degree miter joints together or it could help you in uh, lining up those um, 90 degree joints like that. So according to the website, it's uh, made out of high quality aluminum and then it has these steel bolts here that, ha that uh, provide a clamping mechanism for the lumber. The clamp has these two holes here that you can actually uh, screw down the clamp to your working surface to keep it from bouncing around on you when you're trying to glue up your material. Anyone who has ever tried to glue up or attach those uh, 45 degree miters or those 90 degree joints know it's difficult to, to clamp those together and that's really what this tool is intended to do. So I tried to use it to clamp a couple miter joints together and it's just too flimsy even attached to the workbench and then trying to keep your material level on the clamp is really difficult. So let me show you what I did. So I came up with this little uh, jig here to hold the clamp and all it is is a piece of three quarter inch MDF and some uh, pieces of pallet wood that I just uh, attached to it uh, in order to fit the clamp here and to provide a nice clamping surface. And also added a cleat to the back so I can hang it to the wall whenever I'm done using it. So the way it works is the clamp just sort of fits down into the jig here to hold it still and it provides a surface for the, uh, the lumber that you're uh, gluing together or uh, attaching together to rest upon. So the way this works is the clamp just sort of fits into these little grooves and uh, this jig holds it steady and then it also provides a surface for the material you're clamping together to rest upon. Hopefully you can see I just uh, took my chisel and I sort of removed a little bit of the material here to allow for the aluminum clamp to sit down flush with the, uh, the surface of the wood here. So I tried it out and you can see this is just two pieces of MDF that I glued together and it worked pretty well to uh, hold the material together and it actually uh, formed a pretty nice glue joint. There's no nails or screws or anything in it. So the way it works is the two pieces of material that you're gluing together get put in the clamp and this actually holds the pieces uh, together and this is the piece that I already glued together. I found that it works better to have a, a, a couple pieces of longer uh, scrap that is nice and square to sort of uh, make the clamping pressure a little bit more uniform across the piece. So the clamp definitely seems to work. I guess probably the most important question of all is, is the clamp actually square? And everything in my shop is squared against this framing square. And um, that's what I use to check it for square. And it seems to be pretty close. It is not perfect. I don't think you can see it on camera, but it's pretty close. And for most projects, I think it would would certainly be suffice. So what I want to do today is to try clamping up some pieces on their edge. I mean, before I glued up this, uh, these pieces of MDF sort of like you would a, uh, a picture frame, but I wanted to glue up these pieces of uh, pine actually sitting on their edge like this and see how the joint looks. So I've been sitting here sort of fooling around with it for a few minutes. And to be honest with you, the trouble seems to be getting the outside of the miter joint close together. The inside joint looks, looks great. Um, it doesn't seem like there's any way that I can really work the material or the clamps to get the outside joints to come perfectly together. And my guess is that's because the clamp is not perfectly uh, 90 degrees. And when I check it with my framing square, I can definitely tell that the tolerance is not perfect. I mean, there's, there's, I've got it square against this side of the, of the material, and then there's a little gap on this side here. So I think the main trouble here is that the clamp is just not perfectly square. If the clamp was square, if it was perfectly square, I think it would work really well. 
So to answer the question in the title, can we salvage this tool, I would say we probably can, but it may be more work than I want to put into it. I'm probably going to have to uh, glue uh, some material to this to get that perfect 90 degrees, and then that will allow us to uh, glue up those uh, 45 degree uh, miter joints really easily. I really like the idea of having a 90 degree clamp, but um, uh, as of right now, I think I'm going to have to do more work to this one. So I paid $6.96 for this clamp. I actually had completely forgot that it was even coming. I think I can fix it and just uh, glue in some, uh, some, some walls along the uh, outside of the clamp and make it at least useful. But uh, I think the moral of the story is it's just, not, it's just not perfectly 90 degrees and that certainly limits its effectiveness. So if you want to take a look at this tool, I'll put a link in the description so you can check that out. So I think that's all the time we have for today. If you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, do that and hit that bell notification so you'll be notified when I make new videos. Thanks for watching.